What's going on everybody? Today we're putting an upgraded forged diverter valve in my friend Graydon's here 2010 VW GTI. We put a catalyst downpipe as you saw in an earlier video and let's say it obliterated the stock plastic diverter valve and it was way under boosting right now so we've got an upgraded diverter valve which essentially just recirculates more of the air than the typical blow off valve you might hear about. <laughs> it's a pretty easy install once you have the car up in the air but you do have to get under the car to do this job and this piece is basically attached to the compressor side of the turbo. Anything to add? It goes stu doo doo It goes stu doo doo We love that. So let's get into it. This is the diverter valve right here, the black thing with the electrical plug going into it. For reference, here we are under the car. Mm, yes, leaky VW. Isn't it nice having that wobble head? That's wonderful. <laughs> oh, I think I see it. So we got our diverter valve out. I mean, the Allen head at the back is a huge pain in the butt. It's hard to film, hard to see, and hard to reach. I'll show you the tool you want in a sec, but now we gotta unplug it. Oh! Okay, now, here, I'll take this. What? There you go. Hey! There we go. Well, oh, why is it leaking? That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> what? And that's the hole it came from. This was our preferred weapon of choice to get the three five millimeter Allens. It was just a long wobble end, five mil, did the trick. The bolts really aren't that tight. You just gotta nick them loose with the wrench and then do them out with your fingers. <laughs> so we gotta take off this PCV connection because we gotta put something in between there to tap into the vacuum connection. Like that. It might be hard. Yeah, it might be hard to push on. Do I push like all the way in? Yeah, or? yeah. Until you can basically get it past the groove. Hey, hey. You have to. Oh, there we go. Stonks. Stonks. You may need to block off some of these plates. And we recommend using medium strength blue Loctite on these little plugs that go into the vacuum barb thing here, as well as the vacuum nipple here, because it can come loose. So you have two added provisions here, one on this side, one on the back side there, where you can add another nipple, like Graydon's holding here, to add another vacuum line for a gauge or anything else you might need to use in reference boost and vacuum. And then this will go to the intake manifold connector thing we just installed. So. It's like, do not heat them up. Yeah, like you, you were like, oh, okay, they won't adjust. Let's light fire to them. <laughs> so it's tough to see, but Calvin's currently <laughs> getting the top bolt in on the diverter valve. And it's a little difficult now that we have the solenoid and all, all the boost lines in. Everything's kind of in the way. You don't know though. Is it, is it in yet? Well, it stayed. I lost it. So it's either threaded or it's, oh, no, it's in. Yeah! Yeah, buddy! Just hit the blind. Now, will I be able to get the tip back in again? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. My wrist <laughs> hurts so much. Ugh. Somehow. We got our vacuum boost line down here from our intake manifold and we're going to plug that into the one unused port right there and then we're going to connect in our factory wiring harness to our connector on our new solenoid. With all the ends of the vacuum line zip tied and everything held up out of place we put some Loctite on the two bolts I mean two bolts right here that hold the solenoid to the bracket just to make sure they don't come off. Now it's time to start it up. Again. 
That's a wrap on the Forge Diverter Valve install on this 2010 GTI. Sounds amazing, and of course, it just works better now because the plastic diverter valve isn't junk and broken, so we can hit boost and it drives good. So that's what it's really all about, you know? The car's gotta work, then it's gotta go fast. Right, Graydon? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Thanks for letting me do the install on your car. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you Glad for we could get out here. I don't know. I'm excited to keep pushing this car as far as it can go, really, and this is the next step. Sweet. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Please smash the like and subscribe button down below, and as always, have a good day.